The overall goal of this procedure is to separate DNA fragments of varying sizes. This is accomplished by first preparing a gel with the appropriate concentration of agarose and a fluorescent dye. The second step is to pour the gel into an appropriate mold and allow it to set. Next, the samples are loaded into the gel and a current is applied. The final step is to visualize the separated DNA fragments under ultraviolet light. In summary, agarose gel electrophoresis is used in all situations where the routine separation of DNA fragments is required. The main advantage of this technique over existing method of the time, like sucrose density gradient centrifugation, is that it provides visualization of DNA bands and it also enables us to determine the exact, sign of, exact size of the DNA fragment when separated concurrently with a DNA marker. This method is essential in life science research, such as in the cloning of genes and the purification and sequencing of DNA molecules. Though this method is generally used to separate DNA fragments between 100 base pairs and 25 kilobases, it can also be modified to separate DNA fragments up to 10 megabases in size. Agarose gels are prepared using a weight over volume percentage solution. The concentration of agarose in a gel will depend on the sizes of the DNA fragments to be separated. To begin the procedure for making a gel, weigh out the appropriate mass of agarose into an Erlenmeyer flask. Add the appropriate volume of running buffer to the flask. The volume of the buffer should not be greater than one third of the capacity of the flask.